It's time. Hey guys, get ready. This week I've got four new lunch ideas to share and these ideas were sent to me by awesome subscribers just like you. I'm Jennifer with The Family Fudge and welcome to Subscriber Lunch Sunday. Now if you have a lunch idea you'd like to see me make, first make sure you're subscribed and second, click the link in the description box to send me your idea. First up, we have a lunch idea sent in by Lottie from Germany, and she picked out a breakfast-themed lunch. Now, my son Griffin is actually going to be taking this lunch today, so I'm also going to be throwing in some Mickey Mouse flair just for him. Starting with the main course, Lottie suggested making waffles. So for this, I'm getting out my favorite waffle maker, which also happens to be my heaviest one too. This is a big guy. Now this waffle maker can make six of these Mickey waffles at a time, and these come out just like the ones you might find at Disneyland or Disney World. Recently at the Magic Kingdom, they started making these mini Mickey waffles in a churro version, you know, with cinnamon and sugar on the outside. So for today, I decided to try to make some Mickey waffles using this cinnamon toast crunch pancake mix. Now this box of mix comes with actual cereal pieces, a pack of cinna dust, and of course the pancake batter itself. When I found this cereal inspired pancake mix, I also found a Reese's one, a Lucky Charms mix, I found a Captain Crunch mix, and there was also a Fruity Pebbles version. And I'm curious to know in the comments down below, which one of these sounds best to you? Now, technically there are no instructions on the box as far as making these into waffles instead of pancakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just guess and hope for the best. Now I did go ahead and make up the entire box that way I can freeze some of these for later. But with the ones going into our lunch box, I'm just gonna go ahead and dip them in that cinna dust. But of course, if you don't have this mix, you can definitely just mix up some regular sugar and cinnamon and it'll be just as good. And you guys check these out. These turned out so cute and they smell delicious. Now moving on to Lottie's fruit. She suggested a combination of strawberries and watermelon, but I did go ahead and cut out a couple of watermelon pieces into Mickey shapes too. And then for her veggie, she picked out baby carrots. So I'm gonna add those in here. And you guys, I love how she added in her email not to forget the ranch. Next, for a snack on the side, Lottie thought pretzels sounded good. So I'm gonna add some of these square ones right in here. And then on the side, I'm also adding a Mickey Baby Bell cheese. Next, for a special treat, Lottie suggested hot chocolate. Now I thought it would be really fun to just fill up this thermos with hot milk. And then I'm gonna pack one of these on the side. Now you've probably already seen these, they're pretty popular nowadays. They're called hot cocoa balms. This pack comes with a white chocolate or a milk chocolate version, and it just gives you a really fun and interactive way to have hot chocolate. Okay guys, next up is a lunch I am super excited to make because it is a Sailor Moon theme. And you guys, I have loved Sailor Moon ever since I was a kid and I kind of still love her today. My daughter Lily is also a fan. And fun fact you guys, not only have I seen every single episode of Sailor Moon, but when I lived in Japan, I was constantly on the hunt for these. That's right, these are the original edition of the Sailor Moon manga series. 
I used to visit a used bookstore all the time called Book Off, and over several months, I was able to find the entire first edition, and you guys, I still have them on my desk to this day. Yes, if you didn't already know, I am a nerd. So now, back to this lunch. This was requested by Namora from North Carolina, and my daughter Lily will be taking this for her lunch today. For the main course, Namora suggested a classic PB&J. So I'm going to use this runny peanut butter from Costco and some raspberry jelly. Now to make the sandwich even more Sailor Moon themed, I'm going to use my food writer pens to stamp on a design. And for any of you Sailor Moon fans out there, let us know in the comments down below if you know the name of Sailor Moon's cat. And here's a hint, you guys. Her cat has the same name as our Bunches of Lunches mascot. Now the rest of Nomura's lunch requests are really easy. For the fruit, she suggested strawberries. And for the veggie, a combo of carrots and cucumber. On the side, I'm also adding some of this twisty cheese. I know Lily's going to love that. And then I'm gonna decorate this box with as many bunny food picks as I can. And that's because Sailor Moon's real name is Usagi, which in Japanese means a rabbit. And you guys, speaking of rabbits, for a snack on the side, I'm going to add some of these Annie's Chatter Bunnies. And then for a sweet treat, I'm going to add some of these Picola cookies. Now these are kind of like a wafer type rolled cookie. They're very crunchy. These ones are Sakura flavored with a hint of green tea. Now I'm not exactly sure that Lily will like these. So just in case, I'm going to throw in this fish shaped wafer treat too. But no, this is not fish flavored. It's actually Ichigo flavored, which means strawberry. Then lastly, for her drink, I'm adding in a sparkling apple juice from Japan. This next lunch idea comes from Gabriel from Pennsylvania, and for his main course, he requested something I've never made before, something called a chopped hoagie. Now, we ended up finding some videos on this, and they gave me a general idea of what this sandwich is all about. Oh yeah, and this lunch I thought would be perfect for my son Jackson to take because he's about the same age as Gabriel, who sent in this idea. Now, I've already started by slicing my sandwich roll, and I'm just going to toast it up with a little bit of butter. Next, I'm going to set this aside and move on to the sandwich filling. Now, Gabriel suggested a few slices of turkey, some salami, some pepperoni, some bacon, which I forgot to put, oh, no. some provolone cheese, and a handful of lettuce. But instead, I'm gonna swap this out for spinach because I don't want it to get too soggy by lunchtime. Next, Gabriel said to add mustard, but since Jackson doesn't like mustard, I'm omitting that as well. But I am gonna add just a drizzle of mayo because again, I don't want the sandwich to get too soggy. And now finally, I'm going to add some seasoning. For first, some salt and pepper, followed by some garlic and herb. And now you guys, here comes the fun part. I'm supposed to just chop it all up. And this might take a while. So basically, once it's chopped, you just add it back onto your roll and you eat it like this. It's definitely kind of messy and hard to keep the ingredients in here, but it does smell and look really tasty. Mm. 
Now moving on to Gabriel's fruit, he asked for a combination of mango and strawberries. And then for the veggie, I'm adding in some corn, some celery, and some carrots. And of course, the ranch is gonna go on the side. Next, for a sweet treat, Gabriel suggested Oreos, and I was able to find the new ones. These are called S'moreos. Now, I'm pretty sure that Oreo has made a s'mores flavor before, so I'm not exactly sure how these ones are different, but I can say that they smell really good. And now finally for the drink, I'm throwing in a little box of mango nectar, and that is everything in this lunch. But actually it's not. I ended up cutting this hoagie into three pieces and putting it back in a lunch box like that with some eye picks. I just think this looks way more fun. Next up is a lunch idea from Courtney. Courtney is from California, and for her lunch, she requested a very interesting theme. She requested lots of everything bagel seasoning. Now you guys will have to let me know if you are a fan or not. My girls really like the seasoning, but I'm just so-so on it. I don't like too much, just a little bit. So starting with the main course, Courtney asked for bagel bites but not these kind of bagel bites. They have the same name, but they're very different from what I'm gonna make. For these ones, I'm starting with a couple of low carb tortillas. Next, I'm spreading on a layer of cream cheese, followed by a generous amount of everything bagel seasoning. I'm just gonna cut these into bite-sized pieces. And then in a pan, I'm adding a bit of butter. Once that's melted, I'm going to add in all of our little bagel bites. And I'm just gonna toss these around in the butter. And I'm just going to toast them up on all sides until golden and crispy. Now I do have to say that these don't really smell like bagels to me. Instead, these have a very garlicky, buttery smell. Honestly, they kind of remind me of Olive Garden breadsticks. So now that these are done, I'm gonna take them off the heat. And once they've cooled, I can add them into the lunchbox. Oh yeah, and this lunch is actually going to go to my daughter Mackenzie for today because again, she loves everything bagel seasoning. Now for the fruit and veg, Courtney suggested strawberries and carrots. And to go along with that, I'm also adding some cucumbers. To go along with all of these veggies, instead of adding ranch, I'm gonna add some of this everything bagel flavored hummus. Now, I've never tried this before and it looks really interesting, but it is very fragrant between this garlicky dip and the garlicky bagel bites. I might need to pack some mints to go with this lunch. Next on the side, I have some of these everything bagel cheese crisps. I'll add a handful in here. And then for the sweet treat, Courtney requested a Rice Krispie treat, but I thought it would be way more fun and a lot more colorful to make these with mini tricks instead. Now again, I'm using this super easy, single serve, microwavable recipe. All you have to do is melt half a tablespoon of butter with a third cup of mini marshmallows. Once that is melted, I like to add a splash of vanilla and about half a cup of whatever cereal you wanna use. Once that is mixed in, I just turn it out onto a plate 
and after a few minutes, it's nice and set up. And ready to go. Now check this out, you guys. I think this turned out really cool looking. It kind of reminds me of Orbeez. And now lastly, for the drink, Courtney requested orange juice. So I'm gonna add this one that also has pineapple and mango juice in it. Now you guys, I cannot believe it, but my kids, they only have four days left of school next week, and then they're out for summer break. So to celebrate this next week, I'm planning some extra special over the top lunches, so make sure to come back for next week's video. It's gonna be awesome. And you guys, if you comment using the hashtag bunches of lunches, you can get a shout out in that video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.